Okay, here's one of our end mills. Um, just want to go through some real basic stuff with you here. Um, you know, we'll learn more about it as we go, obviously. Um, you know, we've got, you know, again, we can control, you know, the X, the Y, and the Z. Um, so the handle, um, you know, up top here, obviously we've got a vise right below that. That's your Y. So, you know, you can move that in and out, you know, to, to put it, reposition your piece, you know, to do the cutting. Again, you know, your cutter stays um, in the same location and you move the piece around to make your cuts. So we got the Y there. Um, our X is on both sides here. Um, you know, that's the same shaft that goes through depending on what side of the part you're working off of. If you want to work over here or if you want to work over here, it's just sheer convenience. Um, you know, those, those two do the exact same thing. Um, we have two ways we can control Z. Uh, we have a large crank right here where you can raise and lower the table to get it whatever height you want. Um, and then we have um, like a drill press kind of quill feed right here. Um, you know, so you have a lever that you can move, you know, to lower that down. There is a little lock right here. So if ever you're trying to move this thing and it's not wanting to move, you know, you just gotta push that thing up and then that frees that part up so it can move there easier. Um, on off switch, kind of hidden from you guys, but it's just a, um, like a rotary type, you know, turn switch up here. Um, there's one position marked on, um, you know, that's where we want to be. Um, these machines can actually run in forward and reverse. Um, certain type of, type of applications, you know, may, re may require a reverse position um, direction. But, you know, everything we do is in forward. So I just went ahead on all four of them. I just put a label up there that says on. Um, that way you guys know, just turn it to on and you're good to go. So as we get started here, um, I've got my piece cut at the bandsaw. Um, I cut it to uh, three and one eighth. Um, you know, our goal is to basically just do like a, a facing kind of operation like we did on the lathe. So we're just gonna simply, you know, machine off, you know, the, the bandsaw grooves. And then uh, we will machine the other side down until we get it exactly three inches is what we're going for. So we're going for 3.000. Um, that's our goal with this. So I'm going to go ahead and get this put in the machine and then we're going to just machine one side off flat and then we'll turn it around and we're going to machine the other side. Okay, so I've grabbed a block. Uh, we're just going to put that block inside the vise. Um, that way it just kind of elevates our part. We'll set our part on top of that um, and then we'll tighten the vise up here. Um, you know, we're going to do our cutting, you know, off to the side here. You know, we're not going to try to cut in between the jaws. Um, you know, so we just want to make sure we get this thing tight. And, you know, it can go, realistically, it can go fairly tight. So, I mean, don't be afraid to, you know, put a little muscle on it. You'll be, it'll be fine. So I've got it in there. It's tight at this point. Um, if your block easily comes out, take it out. Uh, I'm going to move my X over because I'm going to machine this side. <laughs> So we'll move this guy over and I'm going to bring my Z up right here with this uh, knee crank. So again, we're going to raise this, raise this up. This is going to be a peripheral cut, so it's going to be on the side of the cutter. You know, as long as we're, you know, like in the middle of that, you know, the length of, you know, flutes right there, you know, we're good to go. So, you know, that turned out, now I've got that right where we want it. Um, this handle, by the way, it can be taken off of there and put on backwards um, to get it kind of out of your way a little bit. So we've got it where we want it. Um, you know, just like on the lathe when we did this, we kind of had to, you know, turn the machine on, um, you know, move into it just a little bit, um, you know, to figure out where we were. That way we don't just start off taking too big of a cut right away. So I'm going to got my safety glasses on. I've got my caliper. Um, nearby because we are going to have to take measurements. Uh, so I'm going to turn it on here. Um, I'm just going to slowly move it in until we start cutting. Typically, when I'm machining on this side, I would be standing, you know, on, on the right side of the machine when I'm machining on the right side. If I'm machining on the left side, I'm standing on the left. Um, I'm standing over here just so you guys can see it on the camera. So I just barely got some shavings coming off of it. Yeah, I moved it more. You can see I've got a lot of shavings. So 
I'm just going to take a pass here just to make sure it's not like crazy uneven. Uh, it's not an angle. Um, we do have numbers on the dials. You know, just like the lathe was, you've got the little, the little marks. Um, you know, as far as your cut, um, I would only do like probably 30 at a time. So that's roughly 30. Again, you can see the shavings coming off of it. Um, to be honest, you know, our bandsaw does a good job. That first side, it'll probably only take one cut. So I've got it shut off now. Uh, I just want to inspect to make sure I don't have any of those saw marks left. Um, I've got just the, a tiny, tiny ghosting of marks left, so I'm going to take another pass. I'm just going to turn it, you know, about another 15 or 20. And I'm going to go back through. Um, and keep it a nice even speed when you turn the handle. It's going to give you that better quality cut. You know, if you're you know, turn, stop, turn, stop, you know, that kind of thing, um, your cut's going to be pretty rough. So we'll turn that off. Um, I know this is going to be good enough. You know, just looking at it, I don't have any marks, so we're in good shape there. So I'm going to go ahead and take my part out. Um, I'm going to spin it around so I can machine on the, on the other side over here. So just loosen the clamp up. Pop this guy out. Um, I'm gonna slip my bar back inside there. Again, just to elevate it. Make it a little bit easier for us. And I'm gonna put my part back in. Again, I, I want you know, three quarters of an inch hanging out probably. Um, you know, we wanna make sure that we, there's no way we're gonna get into the vise um, with the cutting tool. So, you know, get that thing fairly tight. Again, if, you're, if your little block slides out, slide it out. So again, do the same thing, you know, get your X and your Y in the right spot here. I'm off of the part probably, you know, three eighths of an inch. Um, I'm going to turn it on, move it in so I touch off of it again. Yeah, I'm doing really small movements here. Touch it there just the tiniest little bit, so I'm going to make a pass here. I'm going to go just a little bit more. I'm going to probably another 20. I'm going to do this first pass and then I'm going to measure it to see where we are. Ready to get my caliber out again, make sure it's on zero. Get our measurement here, and I am sitting at like 3.15, 115, I'm sorry, 3.115. So I've got quite a bit to go here. So at this point, you know, if we can do multiple passes, probably, probably two. So I'm going to move it in, you know, that 30 number. I had uh, 115,000 to take off. So that was 30,000. Um, I'll go in another 30. So in theory, I should be 60,000 less than what I was the last time. So again, shut it off, make sure it stops. Come in, get your measurement. You know, I am about 70,000 less than what I was the last time. I'm sitting at like a, a 3.040. So I've got 40,000 more to go. So again, we're shooting for 3.000. So 
So I'm going to turn it back on. Uh, this time I'm only going to go 20 thousandths. So I'm going to go 20 marks. And we'll make this pass. We'll double check it because once you fly past it, you get smaller than three. Well, we can't put her back on there. out of our way here. We'll shut it off again to see where we're at. So we'll check it with our caliper. And I'm sitting now exactly 20 thousandths less. I'm at 3.022. Um, so I'm getting real close to where I want to be. So I'm going to go in. I'm just going to go in 20. And that should put me right where I need to be. So there was 20. Turn it on. We'll make another cut. Crank this out of our way again. Turn the machine off. Wait for it to stop. You'll get enclosure caliper up to make sure you're at zero. Um, we're going to go ahead and close this guy up. And let me kind of lock this here. That way I can bring it over to the camera and you guys can see it. Because we are about where exactly where we want to be. We're at 3.003. .003. Um, you know, and that part's done. Um, you know, I, I went from, you know, rough sawn piece to finished part, um, you know, in a matter of, you know, 10 minutes. Um, you know, you guys are going to have to cut it out on the bandsaw. Um, you know, so realistically, if you have the, if the saws available and, and the mills available, you can get this process done in one class period. Um, remember, you can use the shop vac to clean up these shavings. Um, you know, make sure you get your part out of here. Don't leave your part in here. Some kids leave those behind. Uh, you know, make sure so make sure you pop that out and take it, put it in your locker.